This is the third time that I've recorded this video and the first two times I seem to go off on so many different tangents and, and I was rambling, so I'm going to do my best to be as succinct as possible. Fingers crossed. The pandemic, COVID-19, the coronavirus, has caused a huge shift in many people's lifestyles, many people, uh, many businesses, many activities. And one thing that has been appearing a little bit more, especially on Squash Mad, uh, is the idea of outdoor squash courts. Now, I had never even thought about that until the pandemic and until I saw the court in uh, New York, which is made of steel. And honestly, it seems like such a good idea. Now, I know that there are many places around the world that that would just be impossible. I know that. I'm sure that there's some places in very cold Siberia or Northern Europe that would just be like, no way, we, we, the ball would be solid. And then there are many places, you know, maybe in Australia, maybe in the Middle East, that it's just too hot. You, you need air conditioning. I get that. I do. But tennis survives all over the world. And nearly all of the courts in tennis are outdoors. You just become accustomed. Maybe you have to wear extra clothing. Maybe you need a red dot or a single yellow instead of a double yellow. There must be ways to adapt to the temperature within, within a reason. So my first thought is this is a great idea. My second thought is, well, what if there is another pandemic? Okay, fine. That's, that's just a crazy thought. I recognize that. But a lot of businesses have realized that many people can work from home. If you work in an office type environment, you can work from home. And in the past, the businesses were like, no, that's not possible. Oh, you can't do that. Maybe we won't know if you're working hard enough. And now they were forced to do it. They're actually realizing that there are a lot of benefits. Maybe the office space doesn't need to be so big and they can reduce the office space. Yes, people probably work quite well when they go in to see you know, other people and that there are negative aspects from working from home, but it's been shown that it's possible. And the pandemic, I think, has shown us that as well. That there's lots of videos on the internet of people hitting the ball outside. Maybe in some cases they don't have a back wall because it's just like a, a preparation to, you know, that's all they can do. And I've been in my, you know, terrace out the back making some videos as well. And I can hit the ball against the wall. And, and that's like a, a, like a, a stop gap until the court eventually opens for me, maybe in January. So the pandemic has shown us it's possible. And as I mentioned, there's a lot more articles on Squash Mad about this happening. And we've seen that tennis people are allowed to play tennis because they're outside. Squash people can't play squash because it's inside. And that doesn't seem very fair. So, so my question to you is, I've got here faster than I expected, is have you played on a, it's lots of questions. Have you played on a glass court, an outdoor court, sorry? What are your thoughts about that? Was it interesting? Was it fun? I wonder, are they cheaper to make? Because you don't have to worry about lighting. Maybe the, the material maybe is a little bit more expensive initially, but there's less maintenance, perhaps. Um, I, I don't know. So have you played on one? What was your experience? Do you have experience in the financial management and maintenance of a court outside? What were your, what were your thoughts? Uh, what are your thoughts? Is it cheaper? Do you think that this could be the catalyst for introducing squash to a whole new range of people. And of course it is, because if we can get squash courts built outside, if they are viable and we can make them, you know, the materials last long enough, then this could be a really good thing for us. And, and I, I, I'm so excited about the idea of playing outdoors. Now, I think a lot depends on the materials we use. I think it's got to have a glass wall because if it's just a wall, Imagine just a squash court with like concrete walls and whatever floor you decide on. Um, people might not get to see that. It'll be outside and people hear it and that will be a benefit, no doubt about that. But if it's a glass wall and people can see what's happening uh, and they can be kept in fairly good condition instead of graffitied and damaged and stuff, 
I think that that will be amazing. So, so let's talk about outdoor courts. In the text description, I'll link to some of the, the articles that have been on Squash Mad. And if you've got any other articles that you know people have been talking about outdoor courts, um, link to those in the comments and I'll add them to the text description so they're all in one place. So you know, that, that's it. Let's talk about playing squash outdoors. On the screen at the moment, somewhere up here, is a playlist of all of the other questions for you to look at. And probably down here somewhere is another video that YouTube thinks is a really good fit for you. And probably down here is a subscription button. If and only if you think my content is useful, please consider subscribing. And remember, do something every single day to improve your squash. See ya.